the first year we began with just half an acre of land and that half an acre has you know this diverse mix of uh, but there are women now and uh, that's a case story that we are building actually uh, that family actually owns 12 acres of land so from half acre she has made a transition to the entire 12 acres which is now uh, you know converted to natural farming she's modifying adapting but there is a transition uh, that uh, has been made i think what is important is that the recognition uh, there are multiple levels where we see a lot of transformative potential in this kind of a model so it's not just about agricultural techniques or you know that you're just changing practices in agriculture but it's also about the autonomy it's also about what i can decide and how my knowledge is also being recognized i think these are all traditional knowledges where you know there is erasure of it all with this entire you know the agrarian paradigm that we have uh, all of this has been erased completely but here there is a lot of you know uh, space as women are saying that you know oh this is something that we knew or i had seen earlier and uh, i i know that you know this kind of uh, cropping model is going to you know give me a very different kind of thing within my own home i will have food to eat etc but simply the fact that my knowledge is respected value i have a space here i'm being heard so i think these are also very important transformative the potential that we are seeing in this kind of a model interesting examples that you know have come up uh, also in terms of uh, how otherwise it's a very interlocked market you know in agriculture you have a trader you get the seed from that trader and you have to sell at whatever price uh, he uh, says that you have you know because you borrowed from me you have to sell at this price uh, there is a uh, you know they feel that they have broken you know free from that because here is a seed variety that they are now able to uh, also conserve and protect and are able to exchange that seed variety so no longer are they you know caught in the trap of that interlocked market uh, so that was also very interesting you know so how uh, there are these uh, uh, you know what what you see as things which are very small but which actually hold tremendous potential in terms of how it can challenge mainstream uh, economies and the mainstream agrarian paradigm uh, but also structural inequalities uh, a few of our women actually they should be in cutters and uh, they it's all distress migration right in sugarcane harvesting and uh, they don't want to migrate but they are forced to migrate because there is there is no employment opportunity now, some of them uh, have actually said uh, we'll be happy to share those films with you you can watch them later they're just 5 6 minute videos uh, where she is saying that it is because of this farming model that today i am able to say no to that the distress migration that i am doing uh, because it's so inhuman the working conditions are bad the sexual harassment that happens at the work site the hysterectomies that have been reported because reproductive health is really at stake uh, so i am able to uh, you know take a decision and not go uh, for that kind of work because i have an alternative today so even those kind of you know uh, in the, spaces that you know the model uh, has created of course i don't want to glorify it there are huge challenges here that we are facing in terms of you know climate events and crop raiding animal uh, attacks etc but the spaces are nevertheless extremely commendable and caste for example you know, most of the sugarcane cutters are also scheduled caste dalits and when she started working on this model people from the upper caste uh, neighborhood uh, families uh, saw her farm and they said oh you have some very interesting varieties you know varieties that we've completely lost can you share the seed with me and for this dalit woman this was a moment of pride you know that somebody from the upper caste has come to me and is actually asking for seed from me you know everything about purity and pollution is such a big thing even now in a state like maharashtra and here is someone who is actually coming and asking me for you know the seed variety that i have to. so there are a number of uh, that's why i call it you know we call it as uh, a model that has transformative potential so it's not just about 
certain techniques and practices in agriculture which change in how your ecosystem is managed, but it's also about the social justice it uh, seems to offer.